Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you may notice, I'm a little off center. You probably haven't noticed and if you have OCD, I've probably set it off right now. But today's video is gonna be how I style my small dining space here. Now, I have done one of these videos before a very long time ago. Well, at least six months ago which you may have seen but this one's going to be a spring edition so i've brought in lots of pink tones as you can see in the background and i'm just going to be showing you how you can style your dining space on a budget and also incorporate some nice gray and pink tones together to just make the space look really really nice for spring and a bit more vibrant and colorful than it perhaps was at christmas time so if you'd like to see how i achieve this then just keep watching so to start with, you're going to need to pick out your dining table and chairs. And you've probably seen these in hauls of mine or vlogs of mine in the past. And this particular table from Ikea is great because these two ends here extend out and double in size. So it's fab if you're on a table which doesn't take up too much room, but gives you the option to extend and provide enough space for four people if required. So my next step is to get some chairs which are really lovely and luxury feeling because these are going to add a real sense of glam to the room. They're going to make everything appear really expensive tie everything together and be a real statement. So the chairs that I've got are here and these are from HomeSense. I paid £80 each for these chairs. Don't get me wrong, they weren't the cheapest. They were one of the most expensive items of this little video that I'm about to do for you. But my personal opinion is that they were so worth it. They're so, so comfortable and I feel that these are gonna last me for absolute years. So I'm really happy with these chairs. So let's get decorating the table. <laughs> decorating, I'm making it sound like a Christmas tree or something. So my first step is to add placemats. And these placemats I picked up from Sainsbury's. And these were, I believe, four pounds each. I picked these up a couple of months ago, but I know they still have them in stock. I've gone for silver because it ties nicely with the chairs and it kind of just brings the whole look together. All of you know that my place is very blush pink and gray. So these work perfectly with my place. So the next step is going to be to add some plates and these plates are from Ikea. They are around £2.75 each and I know they still have these in stock. I like them because they're nice and flat and I can just build on them and add plates and bowls and whatever I want to put on there. So I'm going to place these on next. These are bluey grey tone so again they tie really nicely with the table and with the chairs and with the placemats. So I am going for quite a girly theme today. So next I've got these pink bowls from Next. These were three pounds each or three pound 50 each. They're still in stock. I love these. They're perfect pasta bowls and I use them all the time, but obviously they're really nice for display purposes too because they add a little bit of color to the very neutral background we've got going on over here. So next it's time for glasses. I personally love adding wine glasses, champagne glasses, whatever you want to the table. For me, it just finishes the table and is the touch that I always go for. So these beautiful glasses are ombre, pale blue, leading up to clear. And I picked these up in the range very recently. They were three pounds 50 each. And I absolutely love these so much. Again, they tie in really nicely with the colors because the blue tone blends really nicely with the plates. But because they're not too bright and in your face, they also tie in really nicely with the grey colours. So I'm going to place these right here and here. Although it's up to you, you could put one this side and switch it up, but I just like to keep everything at the back because knowing me, I'm very clumsy, I'll probably end up knocking it and doing something stupid. So for me, it's all about flowers and I picked this beautiful vase up in Home Bargains recently. It was £4. It's a beautiful pink tone, so it's really lovely. It ties in really nicely with my bowls and it just adds more glam to the table. I've also put little gems in the bottom of this. I don't know if you can tell. I also need to remove the label. So I place that here. I like it to be not quite in the centre, Center, but a little bit further forward than our glasses and I'm then going to put some flowers in fake ones of course and these are some peonies which I picked up in home bargains for £2.50 the other day so I love these so much very spring appropriate with the little pops of yellow going on and I just think these are really cute so I'm going to place them in here the only kind of grievance I have about these is that the stems don't run all the way down to the bottom of the vase although you can't really tell so it's not the end of the world so a table isn't complete for me without some candles and I've got these beautiful candle holders which are iridescent these were also from Home Bargains. Would you have guessed? I'm sure you would have. I love these. They're so on trend. The ripple effect, whatever you want to call it, going along the side. I just think they look so stunning, so expensive. For $1.99, I couldn't resist. So I picked two of these up. I don't yet have candles to put in them, but, you know, they can still sit there and look cute. Because these could also be mistaken for tumbler glasses. So it's absolutely fine, in my opinion, to have them next to the champagne glasses empty. Because they kind of just bring in the whole dining theme. So 
So I'm gonna place these at the edge of the table, just there, and also here. So as you can see, in my opinion anyway, it's coming along quite nicely. And now it's time for some cushions. You cannot go without cushions. Now I've got a couple of different cushion options for you guys because everyone has their own taste, everyone's different. My cushion theme are gonna be greys and pinks though because you know that's my theme, that's what I go for. So hopefully you like it. So my first option is to keep it really simple and use these beautiful crushed velvet cushions which are from the range. These were eight pounds each, so not the cheapest, but still a good price for cushions. They're very, very soft, very supportive, and will be super comfortable to have on your dining table when you're eating. So if you place these here, they're a really nice light color. And as you can probably see, they just blend in everything really nicely together. I love the lightness of them. I love the way they complement the bowls and the flowers and the vase and all the other tones on the table. I just feel like this look really does go together nicely and just ties in well, really. So my next option is to keep it a little bit more on the blush pink side of things. And these gorgeous, gorgeous cushions are from Primark. And as you can see, they're quite a dark blush pink. I absolutely love these. I know I say that about everything, but I really do. Again, these are really supportive extremely soft and these were only five pounds a cushion i wish i got more if i'm honest so i'm going to place these on here and although these are darker hopefully you can tell that they still tie in really really nicely with the flowers because they're slightly darker the flowers in the vase are darker shades of pink so i just feel that this look together also brings it in really well so at this stage, if you really want to go all out, I've got two more options for you. Now the first option is to add another shade of pink and it's going to be a lighter shade of pink. So these cushions are from Matalan. Again, they're nice velvet, really, really soft. They're a little firmer though, so they're kind of more for decorative purposes, not necessarily for back support. These were at £10 each, so a little more on the pricey side, but... You can forgive them because they're so pretty and I love the pleats on the side too. Now I did pick these up a little while ago but I know they still have them in stock. So when I add these, hopefully you'll be able to see that these bring in the bowls because the bowls are much lighter really nicely with the table. But you've still got the darker shade of pink which ties in really nicely with the vase too. So when you're looking at kind of colour palettes and all of that, they just complement each other really, really nicely. So if that was a little bit too pink for you, don't worry, I've got you. Now these next cushions were £6 each and I got these in Matalan. Whoops, nearly <laughs> dropped them there. So I did get these a little while ago, but again, I know they still have them in stock because I've seen them very recently. So these are a beautiful grey and they have little flexes of glitter not glitter, they have little flexes of silver all over them. It looks like someone's flicked a paintbrush or rained on them with silver rain. Look how cute they are. Now these are very much just decoration cushions, decorative cushions, display cushions, whatever you want to call them. They're very, very little. So when I put these on here, hopefully you can tell that these just add a little bit of a different vibe to the table. So a lot smaller, so they're not as in your face as the other pink cushions were, but they still look really nice and they still blend really nicely with the other decor. So hopefully you can tell from this, no matter what option you go for, it's gonna work, it's gonna blend together. As long as you pick some pink shades and grey shades, it's just going to blend and look really, really pretty. So that is the end of how I style my small dining space. I really hope you enjoyed. I'll link as much as I can below for you so that you can go ahead and shop the links and purchase all the goodies if you want to recreate this. And please do let me know if there's any other interior hacks or tutorial is this a tutorial something like that isn't it but if there's any videos like this that you'd like to see just small spaces and how i can make them look pretty and all of that then do let me know leave your comments below and i'll certainly try and film them videos for you as you guys know i do have an apartment so i'm very limited as to the space that i have so i like to try and achieve a really like luxurious look on a budget in a small space and that's what i've tried to do here so yeah i really hope you enjoyed watching if you did please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already because you know you need to join this little family on here so i'll see you really soon everyone bye